Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo. I am at Target. My sweet husband brought me. Let's go shopping. So you guys know how it works here. I start in the dollar spot and then we mosey around the store. So I'm finding some new bins. These are $5. These are interesting. So they're kind of a very weird waxy tote style fabric on top. I do love the jute on the bottom, but they make really weird sounds. I do love these in the rope though. And I think they're a better buy for $5, but why do they only have one handle? I don't get that trend. Last time we were here, we saw a bunch of doggy and pet items. They also have this little bone shelf. Didn't see this last time. It is great. It's got some hooks and a little space to put in some treats or bags on top. And then I found this riser. It's like a plant riser. It's $5. They had a few of these left, but in all weird places. We're going to talk about weird places later. They also have this little treat box for doggies. It is gray. I Kinda wish they did this one in black. Most of their pet items they're putting out are black and white. I'm also finding some boho mirrors. So they did this last year, I think around summer. They have this one in the round, really pretty. And this one kind of spooks me out. Looks a little bit like an eyeball with eyelashes on the sides. What do you think? I'm also finding some Easter things that we haven't seen in the last few videos. I love this little mini egg garland. Now these are pricey. They are wooden eggs though. So these are $5. I did pick up the white one, but last time I was here, I did not see that one with the green or the colored one. And I am finding some $1 plant picks. They're great little trellises. I'm also finding this little pack of rooted vegetables. These are fun. They had the carrots last time we were here. Now this, I have no words. I don't know what it is. It doesn't have a tag. It doesn't have a handle. I find weird things when I'm at Target. <laughs> And I thought I'd share that with you guys. They also have these salt and pepper shakers in the bunnies, two different colors on the bunnies. And these, they are a pair of egg holders. Really cute. Good buys for $3. They also have out some colanders. So these are $5. They are a really good size. Now I will show you at the end of the video what I brought home with me. So they do have this one in the blue. They also have this one that's more of like a bisque creamy white. I like the detail on the bottom of that one. Lots of these chair shelves left and looky here, I finally found this bunny shelf. If you guys know my channel, you know I just duped this. Which one do you think is better? Now I do like the wood round on the bottom of this one, but I like the fact that mine was beaded and probably cost less than this one. I am also finding a few planters. I love these. They do have drainage. They have the plant spritzers. Definitely a hearth and hand look and lots of little pots. So some miniatures for a dollar some ones that are a little bit larger for three. I'm wondering if they're gonna do an even bigger one for five. I do love that they come with a saucer and have the drainage. They come in that minty color, white, black, and the terracotta. And I found some more $1 plant picks. These are great trellis items, like I said. They have a $5 pack of these really fun modern bowls. For $5, I also found a few of these. Now they are plant hangers, they're metal. They have jute just wound around the edge. Not sure how I feel about these. I do kind of wish that maybe they were white or black. I'd love to know what you think about those. They also have this. It is a little hanging chalkboard on one side, a wood rainbow on the other, and they are putting out some glass pieces for kitchen storage. $5 a piece on these. I love this little floral print and some box signs. These are $3. They come in three versions. This one with the green print on the side, this one in more of a coral, and then this one in the floral. I love the colors that they chose for these. Now they have these little plant stands. They're all falling apart. They're $5. I'll show you one together in a minute. They also have this for $5, which I think should be three. And it is a little ceramic watering can. This is the only one in the store that wasn't falling apart. And then they also have these for $5. These are for your laundry pods. Now I don't use laundry pods. Um, I kind of wish they had one that was like for the dishwasher. That would be cute because I do use those in my dishwasher. But then I found this. This is definitely a DIY item and they are huge. So they have two sizes. One is more of more of a rectangle, but then the other one is much more long, like a plank sign. This is the longer one. They're only $5. Painted out black, great for DIY. Now I'm gonna take you around the store because my husband brought me here on date night. I wanna see all the things. They have some beautiful baskets by Hearth and Hand out. Now I will say they're the priciest baskets in the store, so you may wanna look in other sections. 
I'm also kind of looking at kitchen organization. I liked these. They're like little spice holders for $20. You get, I think, 12. They also have these that they sell individually for two or three dollars and then these containers for seven ten and seventeen for the pantry and in the kitchen section i'm finding some new lemon items they have little mats now i am thinking about projects in our house and i'm thinking about doing an accent wall and wallpaper when i was growing up wallpaper was all the rage and then my mother spent the rest of her life removing it from the walls so i'm not sure yet but i did want to point out in their home improvement section we do have some really cool prints. Some are by Opal House, and one of them by Opal House is a lemon print. So if you're getting ready for summer or you just love lemon, you may want to check those out. Now let's head back to the garden section where I had too much fun looking at everything they're putting out for summer. So this is an Opal House Jungalo combo, and it is just the arbor, not that little chair, just the arbor. It's a six by six arbor, not that little chandelier. How much? Would you guess for just the arbor? I'll tell you before the end of the video. They also have these really pretty woven chairs. I do love these. They are pricey. They're by Jungalo. Now, from memory, I think they were $1.99 a piece. So let's ignore that and get on to these really cute lanterns. They had a few I showed you guys in the past, but these are definitely new for my last time in. They're by Studio 62, and I think they are a really cool look. Now my daughter calls this the Lion King look, and she says I'm really into it. Um, I think it's boho, but I really like them. They also have some outdoor baskets. These are that really heavy woven plastic, perfect for the outdoors and lots of lighting, so lots of string lights. I'm curious, who buys these? I mean, they're beautiful, they're like Moroccan, these ones by Opal House, but I am just so thrifty, I could never see myself purchasing any of these. <laughs> so comment down below if you do buy those, and then how often do you have to replace them? They also have these outdoor seat cushions. They are $20 a piece, I really love this one. They also have a few new things over here in their garden decor, the garden enamel sign. I love those terrariums. I'm very interested about that pot with the faux woven detail. I love decorating outdoors and in California, we had a much bigger outdoor space to decorate. So I'm trying to figure it out here in our new home. Now this I think is beautiful. It is by Studio McGee. It is a seating collection. I think they're all individually sold, so I couldn't find a price on those. She does also have this really pretty table. Look, they have pink patio chairs if you are a pink lover. Okay, so they did have a price on this. This is by Studio 62 and just the table, 275. This is a really cute little ottoman and they do have these really cool rockers. And I am all about these because I can put my plants on them. But who really buys these poofs? Do you buy these and then do you sit on them or do the kids sit on them and then fall and then you hate them and you get rid of them? I am curious if you have any sort of experience with those. Now this whole collection is gorgeous, but it doesn't come all together. Just the two chairs are $450. Oh, they also have these really cool outdoor chairs. I like them because they are rockers and yet they look modern. So I think that's pretty cool. So while I was here kind of moseying around, checking things out and recording to share with you guys, I found this. It's a Studio McGee furniture piece right smack dab in the middle of the outdoor chairs. I love finding random things in weird places in stores. What's the weirdest thing you've ever found? in an odd spot in a store. I'd love to know down below. Now, they have a ton of cushions to choose from. I really do like their cushions. I try to pick them up when they're on sale, if not clearance. They've got a lot of neutrals, grays, blues, and then they have this really fun tropical print. Okay, so that arbor was $450. So let's head home. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. So I did kind of go crazy in the dollar spot. They had a extra, I believe, 10% off on the Target Circle app, so I used that. I picked up the watering can, reluctantly, but I just think it is really pretty. Now it's $5, in my opinion, it should be three. And I did bring home that one plant stand that was in one piece. That is until we got to the register. That is until our cashier picked it up and it did this. And they were so sweet, he gave me an extra 10% off of it. And I said, okay, I can do that. I'll glue that at home. So I did bring one home. 
I also brought this home, which I love. I am going to change this up. Let me know if you guys would like to see that over here on YouTube or on Instagram. It's not gonna be anything tremendous, but I am excited to switch it up. I also brought home this planter. Main reason, it has drainage. You guys know how I feel about that with my succulents. It's not in the best shape, but it was the only one and I did decide to buy it. I also brought home the creamy bisque colander with the floral print. I love it because you don't have to use it just for Easter. It's not all bunnies. Good size. And then I did bring home the bowls. I'm not sure how I'm going to use them, but I just really like them and thought I would play around with them, especially since they were on sale and, you know, I was out shopping with my husband. <laughs> so he was in a generous mood. I also picked up the longer of those two wooden signs I was showing you guys that are black. I have an idea for this so I did get the larger one. The hooks are actually only on one side and then I did bring home these little arbors. So I got two of these one dollar ones that are little arches and the pack of these is just a dollar. You get two hooks and the two little signs. So I'll be using those in my garden soon and I'm pretty happy. It was so nice to get out of the house and do some shopping. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon.